Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. It's your boy Karagwa Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. I want to give a quick round of applause for every single one of y'all for showing up and showing love, man. Last episode was, I really enjoyed reading the comments and the response to the episode in general. So today, we're going to pick up right where we left off last episode. And um, we got two votes, one for Yuri and one for Natsuki. Of the two, I am going to go with the one that I care for the most at the moment, and that is Yuri. <laughs> She likes the same shit I like. What the fuck you want me to do? Natsuki, she hasn't really... She hasn't really, um... She doesn't stick out with anything in particular. So, we're just gonna go ahead with Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I don't even know if this, like, has any difference in... In the events that unfold, but... I can trust her opinion, to be fair. Can you really? She's super biased. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. You fucking damn skippy. Eh? What was that? D did I say that out loud? Yuri covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. He's going to hate me for saying exceptional fam. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. C come on, come on. What am I getting nervous for? I just called your work exceptional. Shh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. <laughs> really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. I haven't written shit except for my signature. Eh? Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. This is exceptional indeed. Exceptional googling skills, the fuck? Well, I know that. I just meant, um, Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces a finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, mm-hmm, okay, I see what time it is. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds a train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. My bad. It's cool, man. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Oh, please do. I would love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay, Ghost Under the Light. Can I... I don't like italics. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calms, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. <laughs> Is the flicker strike, motherfucker? I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. It's my bad, I can't read. <laughs> huh? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read because I can't read, son. I just don't read script very often, you know what I mean? I actually think your handwriting is pretty. 
something, something one could get used to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. That's my expert review of it. I liked it. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I want to write something a little bit more mild. I kinda wanna see your other stuff now. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost Yuri? Hoo hoo! What the fuck does. What kind of response is hoo hoo? Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Karagol. It's a metaphor. Really? I must have totally missed the point. It's about chocolate, bitch. What? Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon, to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so sh don't, don't, don't compare now. Nah, son. <laughs> if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Oh, you think so? Of course. That's why I said it. You know, I was really nervous about doing all of this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Karagol. Don't, don't do your best for me, do your best for you! Shit! Priorities! Okay, I guess, I guess Natsuki is next then. Oh, it's this! Man, it's Miss Cupcake! Well, it's about what I expected from someone like yo ass. The fuck? That's a little blunt, don't you think? Well, excuse me! It's not like I said it was bad! I just said it didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes? Do you wanna get smacked, motherfucker? Cause you can get smacked, we don't even have to go outside. I'll pass on that one, Joy. Well, I guess I need to show you mine, so... Not that you will like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I liked it. This is your review. There's a comedian in you, dog. Just be honest, huh? I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? People can try. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and shit. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style shouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. You're writing about how it feels to be never, you know, enough. Like you can't... I, I, I get you. I get you, Miss Cupcake. I get you. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line, you know? So you did. But I guess more went into it than I realized. You sucked on purpose. <laughs> That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Take notes. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did ya? Yeah, I guess not. I decide to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old anyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her, you know? Okay, Sayori or Monica? Let's go with Sayori. What's up? We have gathered here for a reason. Can you show me your poem? What the fuck? This is a good poem, Kaigo. Oh, you were evaluating my... Okay, you were reading my shit. Cool. Are you sure it's your first time? Why would I lie about that? It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare motherfucking time? Do I look like the guy? <laughs> I guess you're right. What the fuck do you mean? You didn't have to agree so fast. That's why it impressed me. 
Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy you just wrote one. Uh, what the fuck? Jesus, you're setting the bar really low. It just reminds me of how you really are part of this club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room, right? I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Karagol. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Interesting. Trying new things like this for other people? That's something only really good people do. Thanks. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. What is your full what is the full picture of your motive? You trying to smash everyone? Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. Well, if you were reasoning like that, you should have probably picked Sayori first. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, alright? <laughs> okay, motherfucker. The stage is yours. The stage is yours. That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Better believe it. Now, you read my poem, right? Nah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Alright, we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. The sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. I see that. That is a little bit dark. Someone said in the comment section, every single one of these poems are a little bit dry. I could sleep forever? Uh-uh. Sleep is the cousin of death. We don't do that around here. But it's time for breakies, though. Sayori, do you need to see a therapist? <laughs> this is just a guess, but are you depressed? Did you wait until morning to write this? Nah. Just a little, little bit. You can't answer just a little, little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean, dude. I still try my motherfucking best. Yeah, that's right. That's true. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. I just meant to say you're a bad person. <laughs> it came out nice. Or how should I put it? What did you eat for brickies anyway? Sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast, see? See, she spoiled the sequel. Even though you were late to school? It's back to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. This was so much fun, was it? Monica's the best. Eh? I'm the best. <laughs> Why is Monica the best? Next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to that shit. Here we go, Miss Best. Hi, Karagol. Hi, Monica. Having a good time so far? I'm having a good time. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you know and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? You say that now, but once I bring my suggestions, since you're gonna be like, I can't, I need to. We voting this motherfucker off the island. I keep that in mind though. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. What? I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. I'm the slacker in the corner, fam. Back of the room, back of the room. I don't care about y'all. Anyway, you wanna share your poem with me? No. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? Are we? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll learn to get past soon. That's true, I guess. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Great job, Karagol. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical and shit. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. 
I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low, you know? Then I, then I jump out like a tiger, BOW! Surpassing expectations like that. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort, you know what I mean? Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? I had a hunch. I had an inkling, if you will. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? Wait, you don't like that? What's your preference? Unlike Sayori, who likes simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yeah, like people try. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry about that so much. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. That's just... That's just flavor talk, man. That's just me saying shit to get out of this conversation because I don't know what else to say. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I would love to see you try new things. You should try to get out of this conversation as well. That's the best way to find it. Shut the fuck up about my style, please. I'll find it. Everyone else might be a little biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. It's not up to you, let me figure that out. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ahahaha, <laughs> why are you laughing at your own shit? It's not a joke, is it? Ahaha. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. I, y'all motherfuckers always preface it like that. The, the only one who had this valid disclaimer was Natsuki up to this point, in my opinion. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Okay, okay, I'm not your therapist, man. Come on, just give me your shit. Let's read it then. Oh, d bro, you have a scroll bar on your poem. How did you do that? It's a piece of paper. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Sippy sips. Hole in the wall. Wait, what the fuck kind of poem is this, Monica? Jesus, okay. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spackle protrudes? Huh? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I will never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. See, that could have been something else entirely. <laughs> it was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. Can I... Oh, I was looking out, <laughs> and he on the other side was looking in. So what do you think? Are you talking about me as the player? It's very free form. Hmm, what happens if I... I'm sorry, I bumped into my... What happens if I click on history here? Oh! Okay, hold on. Just... I can't read her poem? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah. I think she was talking about us as the player. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. How did you get the scroll ball on the A4 sheet though, huh? That kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful, you know? What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's coming on kind of strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other, hmm. Anyway, here is Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. 
If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you will never make any progress. Just god damn, bro, what the fuck? This tip is longer than a book. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is, god damn. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you will just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. Nobody's here and there's one cupcake left on the table. That was a little bit more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even Natsuki, I swear to God. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Even Natsuki's! This is a literature club after all. I sigh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting away. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow into prostration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is... cute, I guess you could say? Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? Dumb bitch! <laughs> it's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Oh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice, but you didn't mean it, did you? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Jesus Christ, Yuri. Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, dummy. <laughs> Damn, there's some animosity between these two. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Karagol did too. Uh... So based on that, I will gladly give you some suggestions on my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style, so I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. And Karagol liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, really? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Oh, uh, you just... Yuri stands up as well. It's gonna be a kitty fight up in this bitch now. Maybe you're just jealous that Karagol appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more, huh? Are you that full of yourself? Nah, but you see, the way, the way my bank account set up is I was, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy, you know? Ooh. I think it's time for brickies. Oh, you know what, bitch? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Kalego started showing up. How about it? Natsuki. <laughs> she is. <laughs> God damn, she's out for blood now. I don't like fighting guys. Shut the fuck up, Sire. This has nothing to do with your ass. <laughs> Suddenly, both girls turn toward me as if they just noticed I was standing there. <laughs> what up, y'all? Y'all good? She she just trying to make me look bad with what bigger titties? What the fuck? That's not true. She started it and she's stuffing it. <laughs> If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no goddamn reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to figure it out. Now, help me explain that to a Karagol. Wait! There is a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. 
Avoiding them is not unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Kalagol? Oh, I see where this is going. Well... I don't care. I would just say I don't care and leave. Fuck them both. <laughs> it's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they will probably think more highly of me. I mean, shit. Shit. I'm trying to smash! <laughs> what?! Did I not- What?! Game. That's not who I'm trying to smash. You're right that I liked your poem. See? Now you start with love and then you go in on their ass. Wait, I wasn't finished. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck was mm? <laughs> you, can, you can acknowledge it a different way, just don't go mm. The fuck? I understand, do you though? Yuri. Eh? You're seriously a talented writer, alright? It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal, you know what I mean? And that's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't think about it that way. And you guys are supposed to be the smart ones, huh? I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. We're all sorry and shit, right? Now kiss. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt and left her boobs out of this shit, we would've been all cool. Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place, yeah man? Are you fucking kidding me? That's exactly what I did! It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you did not mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. Oh man, girl is gonna kill herself. Come on now. I'm switching sides. I'm trying to smash, but I'm switching sides. She's trapped. At this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Sometimes when I'm hurt, Sayori, I swear to God. It helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. It will spare me from having to look at all of your faces right about now. Y'all motherfuckers disgust me. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem from the desk and storms the fuck out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Everything I right with you, man? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. I mean, maybe. How do you how do you how do you how are you thinking of redeeming yourself, you know what I mean? <laughs> how could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Kalagol. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. About that, after these events that have unfolded recently, I'm out of this bitch. I'm sorry. Deuces, y'all. I'm gonna play some soccer. One more thing. Um, that one thing Natsuki said about, you know what I mean? I would never do anything so shameful. So... What thing did Natsuki say? Yeah, you do that. You do that. Okay, here we go. Alright, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. But it's 10 a.m. How did you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. I would say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Kalagol, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. I'm going with the flow. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Now relax, bro. I mean, we got the creative juices flowing, but shit, you know. I can't, you can't crank these out. These have to be conjured, concocted, you know, very carefully. 
and maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job of impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. What is this, Undertale foreshadowing? <laughs> Caragol, what? Ready to walk home? I'm not a dog. I'll walk when I'm ready to walk, bitch. Let's go. Sayori beams at me. <laughs> it truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't... I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that... does that kind of thing happen often? Nah, nah, nah. Did I say nah? Nah. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. I ain't say anything about that. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? Why would you assume that? I don't hate them. I just want your opinion, that's all. I can see why they would make good friends with you. Hmm. You know, Kalagol? It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. Really? But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. Okay, buddy. And I think everyone really likes you too. Every day is going to be so much fun! <laughs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? The fuck does he mean? The fuck do I mean? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori, I mean. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay. Ah. What do we do, dudes? I think I'm gonna go with Entropy. Yeah! And then here we have something for... Anxiety. Yeah! I wanna go with Vertigo. Yeah! And then Incongruence, maybe? Yeah! Disoriented. Raindrops! <laughs> Raindrops! Yeah! And then... I don't know. Misery? No, it feels like that's what you would like, Sayori. Isn't it? I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Existence. Analysis. Yeah. Or Yeah. Uh, this. And then... Nightgown. What up? What up? Despise. Nightgown. Why? Uh, fantasy intellectual. And then here we go with misfortune, maybe? Tragedy? Misfortune. Ah, what? Eternity? Yeah. Ah, boom, 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 boom. Scars. What the fuck? Chocolate. It's gonna be hard to be chocolate. But that's her, isn't it? I can't. I don't wanna. Lucky. Shame. Ambient. Done. Uh... Nah, it's, that's her, isn't it? Unstable. Dark. What the fuck? Okay. Doki Doki. What is Doki Doki? What does that mean? I'm, I'm, every time I ask a question like that, someone in the comment section pops up like, Well, actually, kind of, well, neat is. And I appreciate y'all for that. Thank you. Uh, infinite. And then... Universe. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little bit more comfortable here over the last couple of days. Get rid of the mouse, bro. Be professional. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hey yo! What up? It looks like you're in a good mood today. I am. I'm, I'm just not still used to you being here in the club, that's a- Come on, dog. I've been here for a month! That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. 
but I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Ah, that's a little bit. That's a little bit. That's a. That's a shot, isn't it? That's a subliminal. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No, what? Oh, you got something else to do? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Nani? Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Did she steal something? Why that, all of a sudden? No reason, really. Just humor me. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then, she turns it upside down and lets it content spill all onto the desk. I didn't mean- you didn't have to do all that. Only two small coins fall out. I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair! How did you even know? It's simple. I've fallen for this trick 57 times. I'm keeping a tab on this shit and it will not be 58 today. If you had enough money in the first place, then you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. I know, you calculated. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so I could lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that leaves only one option. You actually did go to the snack bar and buy, purchase a snack, and then come to the club room, and you ate it, but you're still hungry. I give up. OBJECTION! You cannot! Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. I didn't even know she was in the room. I didn't... <laughs> Her face is in her book as always. Is it the same book? I wasn't listening or anything. Liar. It was just something in my book. Tell Cargo to let me borrow some money. What the fuck? You think I'm a simp or something, bitch? The fuck? You should only buy what you can responsibly afford. That's why I fucks with Yuri. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Did I just? I didn't mean that at all. I don't even know if we're considered friends. <laughs> I got too absorbed in my book. Matter of fact, that was a line in the book. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri, but only when it's in my favor. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There was no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Eh? Retribution, mate. That! Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Hmm. Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys that she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. True. Facts. You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. Lies, I didn't even know what kind of cupcakes. It might have been trash cupcakes. Like carrot cupcakes or some shit. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. The, who the fuck slapped who? Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. What the fuck was... A cookie! That's Natsuki. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a motherfucking miracle? It's because I paid my restitution, yes! Retribution, mate. Actually, that one almost worked. I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about cupcakes and tricking me, so... Is, is, she, is she aware that she was played as well? Sayori hugs the cookie. <sighs> yep. Yep. I think it's about time to call it an episode. Bish, <laughs> hug the cookie. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it an episode right here. And next episode, I suppose we'll share our poems yet again. And see where we end up. Until then, this has been your boy Kaigo Gaming. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode as well. I'm out of here, man. Love y'all. And deuces.